When we pray for someone, it's harder for them to reject Christ than it is to accept Christ. The more we pray, the more they keep bumping into the grace of God. Where sin abounds, they'll find grace. Grace, right? What in the world? What in the world? They start to do something. Imagine this in your mind. They start to do something crazy. But a mom drops to her knees in the bedroom or a dad and says, God, I don't know why they're on my heart, but I hold them up and I ask you, Lord, to move. Now, what you don't know is in the unseen world, the Bible says around the throne of God, the angels are there. And they're waiting on the command from Jesus. And Jesus says, they say, can we go? Can we go? Can we go? Can we beat some demons up today? Can we go? And Jesus says, oh, here comes the prayers from a mom in the bedroom. Now go and those angels go and find that son, that daughter. Surround them. And just when they start to do something stupid, there's a restraining force that pulls them back into the grace of God. And even if they mess up, the grace of God will pick them back up and say, brush yourself off. God's not through with you. Don't you ever stop praying. The fervent, effectual prayers of a righteous man avail much.